Hi everybody, thank you for joining me. Today I have a pretty fun tutorial to cover with you guys, and that is how to create a customized course card for your Canvas courses. Now if I hop over here to the dashboard, this is my Canvas Free for Teachers account, and you can see that my How to Canvas class has a course card. In this case, it's a panda and he's jamming away. And this is an animated GIF, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to work in PowerPoint and create a fully customized static image. So if I click on my course, then it's going to take me to the main page. I'm going to click on settings. And here I can see my image right here in the course detail tab in the settings. I can choose an image. I can remove the image. For right now, we're going to remove this image and we're going to start from scratch. Now there are a lot of platforms and resources out there available to you so that you can create your own custom cards. I have access to Photoshop and I subscribe to VisMe and Canva. But today I'm just going to be working in PowerPoint and that's it. And I'm going to show you how to create an awesome card just using PowerPoint. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to start with a blank slate. I'm going to change this layout to just perfectly blank. Now I want to put an image on my slide deck here. So I'm going to go to insert and I'm going to go to pictures. If you have a picture on your device, you can use that. If you have a subscription to Office 365, then you'll have access to these stock images. And so that's a pretty good library. So I'm going to do a quick search for university and see if any of these images interest me. I think I'll go with this one right here, but you can choose whichever one you want. I'm going to put it off to the side and then with the image selected in the picture format ribbon here, I'm going to click on crop and I'm just going to make sure that this expands all the way to the dimensions of the slide. And from here, I'll go ahead and just increase the size of this, something like that. Now I'll go ahead and put a text box and I'll put the text box as the width of it. And on the home tab, I'm going to center this and I'm just going to write the name of the course. So there's how to canvas. I'm going to bold that. And I'll go ahead and change the font color to something light. I don't ever like using pure white or pure black. I like it to be a shade of one or the other. And then I'll go ahead and create a font or select a font that I think would be good. I will increase the font size and then I'll place this somewhere on the page. So in the preview, I can see what that would look like. Now I'm going to go to this image and we're going to go to the image um, properties. So the format image. I'll go over to the shape right here and I'm going to increase the transparency and that's going to lighten up that image a bit. So I'll go ahead and lighten that. I think probably somewhere 50, 60 is fine. And since that's light, I'm going to want a dark font on top there. So I don't want it to be perfectly black, but something that will stand out, something that has enough contrast. You can explore around if I want to add a line break, for example. If I were to break up that line, then I can increase the font size. I can put something really big like this. And if I hop back over to my dashboard, then I can get a sense of what would this look like when it's on my dashboard in Canvas. And that would probably look okay. I think that would be just fine. So what I'm gonna do over here is I'm going to save this, but I'm gonna save it as, locate the place where you want to save it, put the file name, and instead of saving this as a PowerPoint presentation, I'm going to save it as an image. Either a JPEG or a PNG would be just fine. Microsoft is going to ask you want to export all of the slides or just one. If you choose all of them, if you have many slides in the presentation, then it'll save all of them in a folder and it'll call them slide one, slide two. I only have the one slide and so I'm just going to export this one slide right here. Okay, so now I have the image saved and I'm going to hop back over to Canvas. So in the course details tab of the course settings, I'm going to choose an image and you can either click to upload or you can drag and drop it. And now I have a new image for my course. If I head back over to the dashboard, then I can see a preview of that. And if I wanted to change the color of the overlay, then I can do that. Now you'll notice that because of the overlay, there is a little bit of loss in detail. So you want to make sure that you're not paying too much attention to the minutia, to the detail of the image. And just if it's generally, in this case, I can see that there's a table and a book. It looks like there's a chalkboard in the back and you can vaguely make out those elements. Now, if you want to make the text really pop out, maybe I would choose something a little bit darker. So let's play around with that. Maybe let's see what pure black looks like. I'll go ahead and save this and I'll call it black because the font is black. So again, I'm just gonna save this one and let's hop back over to the Canvas course into the settings. Make sure you're on that course details tab and I'm going to choose an image. Now we'll drag and drop that new image and see how that's different on the dashboard. 
So yeah, that pops a little bit more. I think the font is more readable. And I could be wrong, but in terms of accessibility, I feel like the course cards are really ornamental. I think it's a decorative element. And for screen readers, the most important thing would be the title of the course. And why I think that's important is because you might have a course card that has no text on it at all. It's just purely ornamental. So that's a great way to get started. If you don't have Office 365, another great way that you can get images is just go to Unsplash. So on Unsplash, I can search for things like university or class or what's your subject matter. It could be something like psychology. I'll give psychology a, a search and there might be something interesting there. Or really a fun approach is just search for design. See if one of these would be good for you. You can see categories, abstract. Any one of these would be a pretty fun course card as well. So let's give this one a try. I'll go ahead and copy the image. Now back in PowerPoint, what I'm gonna do is, I don't wanna start from scratch, I'm just gonna duplicate the image. And then I'm gonna right click on the image on the back and I'm going to change the picture to something from the clipboard. Since I have that image copied, then I'll just choose it from the clipboard. And of course, I'll want to change this font from dark to light, if you want it at all. I can center that, let's zoom out a little bit now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this image in the back. I'm going to go to Format Picture once again, and I'm going to play around with the options. The reason why is there's a lot of gradient in the back so that you have dark areas and you have really light areas. I'm going to darken this up just a little bit. So let's go to Picture Correction, first of all, and I'm going to bump down the brightness a little bit to make that nice and dark. So there's still texture, but it's kind of dark. And so you can play around with that setting if you want. You can play around with the contrast as well. Negative 100 would be there's just no contrast and plus 100 would be there's extreme contrast. And so you can play around and try and find a medium right there. But ultimately, I just want to get a sense, a general sense of texture in the back. Likewise, you can play around with the picture color. Do you want to warm it up or cool it down a bit? So you can play around, see if you like some of those settings. And I'm going to highlight this font. I'm just going to take it down. I'm going to put it at a very light gray. So it's mostly white, just a, a touch of light. So let's go ahead and save it. On my keyboard on the PC, I press um, Control, Shift, and S to get the Save As menu. Then I'll save it again as a PNG. And I'll call this one Painting. So back in my course, once again, I'm going to choose Image. I'm going to replace it. And I'll drag and drop. And let's see what that looks like in the dashboard. So that's pretty fun. And you'll want to really search for imagery that's reflective of the class that you're teaching and make it distinct. And if you really want to personalize it, then you might say something like the name of your class. And then specifically, this is the summer term of 2021, or this is fall 2022. Putting that little extra bit of detail might be meaningful for your students. Now, before we go, I want to say the reason why I like using PowerPoint for this kind of project is because PowerPoint has a 16 by 9 ratio, and that's the same ratio by default, the widescreen ratio, as what we have in our Canvas course cards. So if I were to click on Design and Slide Size, you can see that by default, the widescreen settings for PowerPoint are 13.333 inches by 7.5 inches tall which is a 16 by 9 ratio. And so that's a perfect ratio for Canvas. And if you've seen some of my other PowerPoint tutorials, you know that I actually like PowerPoint as a graphic design tool. It's a very lightweight tool. It's not meant to be super robust. And I have access to much more sophisticated platforms. But for simple things like creating a Canvas card, for example, I really like the simplicity of PowerPoint. And Keynote is the same thing, you know, Google Slides that concept that we can use these tools for something other than what they were originally intended to do and they do a good job at it. So play around with PowerPoint and remember if you're putting words on your course card in Canvas, you want to put dark words on a light background or darken up the background and put light text on it. You want a little bit of contrast, especially in the dashboard where it gets the color overlay and so you, you lose a little bit of detail, but you can still see a lot. So I hope this is helpful for you. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Visit our blog to see a write-up of this tutorial. Also visit our social media. Have fun creating amazing course cards for all of the classes that you teach and happy teaching and learning.